hey guys and welcome back to my channel i know it's been a very long time so here i am you know this is a little get ready with me chit chat you know grab your grab your starbucks grab your chips grab your whatever you want and just sit back and watch me get ready while we have a little a little talk i know i've been f away for a very long time so this will just clear some things up. Well, <clears throat> hey guys, welcome, welcome back. I know I've, it's been a very long time since the last time I posted a video. Um, I was going through it, but I figured that I am getting better. So I wanna get back to what I like doing, which was making videos. And um, yeah, we're just gonna do a little chit chat, get ready with me, and I'll just explain everything in the video. Oh, by the way, my jewelry is from Shein, and then my shirt, it's like a matching crop top with some biker shorts are from Laura's Boutique. But yeah, let's just hop right in. So, for my brows, I'm gonna be doing the little like soap brows. I've been using the Pierce um, soap, like the bar soap, and I just put like for spreading setting spray, and you know, I do my little thing. I did have the birth control for like um, about a year, I want to say, like a year and. like a year and four like a year and two months so it was really messing with my body and i just didn't didn't like that anymore and because of this whole um covid19 stuff um i was supposed to get it removed back in march but you know covid happened and that was in a that wasn't able to happen for me so um i started feeling like a lot of discomfort when i would have like sexual intercourse with my husband and um one day i just had a bunch of cramping and my period wasn't coming so I was like really confused so um yeah I just freaking um I woke up or whatever and it was it had just fell out so when I had went so I went before March I think I went in like the beginning of February or somewhere in February and I was trying to get it removed and they had told me that like the OBGYN people that they couldn't find the my IUD because I, I I don't think I ever explained that what type of birth control I had but I had the Marina IUD one and yeah like they told me they couldn't find it so I was just like what do you mean so they scheduled me to go to like the big because this was like a clinic so I went to like the big hospital and she was just like, um, yeah, I had my appointment and then the virus happened. So I was never able to go. But one of my friends talked to, um, like the, the, a nurse kind of, it's like a nurse. It's called an HM in the Navy, but it's like an, a nurse in the civilian side. And, um, she was just like yeah i don't i don't know when we're gonna open up it's probably gonna be until august so i was just like dude i cannot wait till august but i was stressing out about that because it was really messing with my body and i was just over it um i was just completely over it i didn't want anything to do with it it was just really frustrating and we were also trying 
like I, I don't know if you guys remember my old videos i said that we were wanted to try for a second baby our second and final baby and yeah like just trying and then knowing like i wasn't gonna be able to get pregnant and then just having the birth control yeah i have like a bunch of like new breakouts from just all my like my body taking out the freaking um birth control hormones so i have all of that just literally like combined into my body and it was just really rough like and i know like there's people that can't get freaking pregnant at all and it's hard for them but i'm just like the birth control really messes with your body and people don't really know that so my husband was just like just get it taken off get it removed or whatever so luckily it just one day fell out and um i was telling my mom i was like it felt like it was like a, a blessing in disguise because it was really 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 bad and um my anxiety was horrible just everything in general was like really bad so yeah i'm really happy that i got it well that didn't get it removed it like fell out or whatever so now i'm just here i'm running little hair in my freaking i grow this random hair on my cheek i don't know where just... but my random little black hair but um yeah so now that my birth control is removed we are definitely trying so we'll see we'll see what happens <laughs> but um yeah so um what else has been going on let me see um well i've been i only work still like 30 minutes a day um so i'm with antonio most of the time um if this don't mind this, this is my little mirror but i'm with antonio literally most of my day and um it's been great i feel like he really enjoys like his time with me so that's really fun but i kind of just want everything to just open up already i'm not saying like i don't love being with him but i feel like he just needs to um be with like surrounded by other kids um and I'm not saying like he doesn't know how to share or he doesn't like he's not good with kids but I just feel like it would be good for him to be um next to kids and near kids and hang out with kids so I'm really hoping that all of this you know is over with soon um my husband does get out soon so that's very exciting i'm actually really excited for him and his new like adventures um he has a job interview on friday which i don't know when i will be posting this video so we'll see maybe if maybe i'll post it like the actual tomorrow which is friday today's thursday or i don't know but <sighs> you, you probably already would have seen i mean he probably already went to his um like after, when you see this he'll probably already had went to his um his interview or probably not i don't know but yeah um i'm just really excited for him i'm excited for our family i know um i still have a year or so left for my contract so we'll still be here in virginia but um after my contract finishes you know we have plans of um building our own house um 
we still don't well right now our mind is set on texas but we still don't know like where in texas where it's either between san antonio or um houston so that's another very interesting like you know just everything in general about us living our life outside the navy is really interesting like i don't regret joining because i wouldn't have met my husband but i just if i wouldn't have had antonio or like a family then i would have probably seen myself doing 20 years because you know i don't i wouldn't have nobody but my actual family but since i have a family of my own like I just, you know, your priorities change and if we're being like completely honest, you're just like a number mm, to the Navy, you know, so it just, you know, it just sucks, but that's literally and truly how like they just see you. You're just a number. So they don't care about my, like your family. What is going on? And you know, like, it just sucks, but that's like, as simple as I could put it, like, they just don't care. So, I'm not gonna sweat it too much. I'm excited to just do my final year. I am going to the reserve, so I won't be completely out, but you know, compare once a month, like a weekend to like having it as a complete job, like, yeah. I'd rather just do once. I hate these little baby hairs right here. They never freaking go. They're growing. I'm still having like postpartum stuff. So they're growing. I just, I just, whatever. But um, yeah, like I'm just really excited for this. So keep us in your prayers pray that um you know we get pregnant soon I'm really excited just i don't know i'm just really excited for everything to happen i just can't wait um i'm trying to like this video is probably going to be everywhere just trying to update you guys but pretty much like the main reason why i was gone i'm gonna say gone because it was a while i think the last time i posted was in february maybe i was planning on posting for mother's day but you know things happen and i was just um trying to enjoy our time together like my and my husband's just trying to enjoy our time trying to enjoy the very cute little dinner that they make that they did for me and just everything in general um so yeah but yeah um yeah so back to what i was saying my depression was was really bad and my anxiety like it was just super bad and all I wanted to do was um, be with my son and my family and like I did want to film but I just I think I tried filming one time and it was it just didn't feel right so I deleted it I also still like have the footage for my um for my son's like his new his room tour so i have the old one and the new one so i still haven't even done that video which probably still going to do since i do have the footage to his um his old room like what his old room used to look like before it became a toddler like a full toddler um room um so yeah we'll see we'll see we'll see but i am excited to get back 
to filming i did miss filming videos and i really like this is my time to where i must play and mess around with makeup so i since this whole like virus thing i haven't been wearing makeup really um i think mother's day i wear like a little bit of makeup not really i think i only did like spot conceal and lashes and like maybe my brows but that was it easter i did wear makeup for that and it just felt weird so i didn't even like try again after um it just i don't know i just i was just trying to enjoy my time you know with family and just this whole virus thing you know it's pretty much like you never knew what was happening we did have to cancel a bunch of our um traveling plans um we were planning on going to cali in july and we wanted to go to miami as well um we're still hoping hoping to go to puerto rico in september for our anniversary um so yeah we'll see we will see how this goes but i know california is still close to um august so we'll see this looks really white but it's not that white i don't know why it's picking it up like that but whatever i promise it's not that white <laughs> but yeah um I'm trying to see yeah but for now all of our travel plans are are not happening so that sucks i was really excited to see my parents i haven't seen them since december i want to say yeah my mom was supposed to come over here for my son's birthday but stuff happened and yeah so We'll see when they come. I'm trying to see what I'm... Well, I've been watching um, Netflix like crazy. I've been finishing so many shows. Oh my goodness, so many shows. I was watching Once Upon a Time. I finished that in like about maybe three weeks or so um maybe less and then i watched finished watching dynasty season three yesterday i want to say and then um can i remember all the shows that i watched but Oh, I started watching Avatar again. I was wa I watched it when it first came out, so I just don't remember much. So I was just like, I'll just give that a try and see where that goes. Um, yeah, this is all I do for my eyebrows now. I just I feel like the uh, soap method just helps so much because my eyebrows aren't too sparse, but you know, it just helps for a little poom. Um, so yeah. But yeah, that's all I've been doing, really. Like, just hanging out with my family. And yeah. Just been chilling. Um. I know. For the most part, um. I'm just having some time to myself. My son is actually taking a nap right now, so I thought it would be a good idea to film. I've been trying to film this whole week, but for some reason, I I had to, I washed, what did I wash? Not Monday, I think. Monday we went to the strawberry field, so 
that's another thing like we're doing all these things for my son now and i started i just want to you know get back to it so we went to the strawberry field on monday which was memorial day and then um we were there all day and then we came home and my son took a nap so yeah and that was pretty much it that's all we did for memorial day i don't think we did anything else we no we just been hanging out and that was it that was literally all we did just go to the strawberry field which it was kind of it was really really fun um my son really enjoyed it oh, i didn't know he had acne spot there but whatever he really enjoyed himself he said starting to get into that age where he wants to like copy everything i say so we have to <laughs> literally catch ourselves cursing because he will repeat it and we don't want that so yeah that's been happening um it's just it's just some fun times maybe i could do like a, a update or something on him too i just um let me just finish my face Like, do I even know how to do makeup anymore? I don't even know, to be honest, dude. Oh, I've been into TikTok lately. Um, I just haven't been posting, like, makeup content and stuff like that. But I'll definitely post my TikTok and maybe actually do makeup content. I don't know. Let me know what you guys want to see. I definitely want to start posting more on my tiktok i just want to start posting more on all my platforms um i feel like now that i'm getting back to it i should you know take some time and i kind of want to merge my makeup instagram with my regular instagram but we'll see we'll see if i do that so yeah i'll let you guys know but I'll link down all my socials like I always do down below. I'll probably also put them like at the end of this. Who knows? Um, yeah. So I'm really, 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 really excited about the palette that I'm gonna be using today. Also, I have so many new palettes that like I said, I haven't even touched because I was just not messing with makeup. So this is going to be really good. I actually bought myself this palette for like a Mother's Day gift. <laughs> That's what I told myself, but you know. My husband was like, yeah, yeah, you just bought it because you wanted it. I'm like, duh, I did. And what? So. Um, I don't know. So there's this one. Like, go glitter. Um. Yeah. Um, let's see. I'm like, really, this is, ugh. you know, it's crazy. My dad has this, like, I don't even know what to call. Um, I knew what it was called in Spanish, but I forgot what it's like. How does I forgot the word for it, but it's like a little, like, swirl, like. A remolino. I don't know if you guys know what that means, but he has one, and I feel like this is that because these baby hairs just have a mind of its own. But anyway, so this is the palette I'm gonna be using today. It's the ABH Novena Collection Volume Four. I also have Volume Three, so maybe I could do another a video with that too. I just got them, so we'll see. But this is what it looks like. Uh, excuse my mess <laughs> but this is what it looks like and i think it's really bomb you know for the my 
my skin is on point but yeah so i'm thinking about doing like a like a pink i think i already did a pink eye maybe i don't know but i really want to do a pink eye um i was thinking about wearing like another outfit but i'll probably just do that other outfit with the orange like with her volume three i think that's one of the orange one with like the butterflies i think that's volume three but i'll do that so let's see if i forgot how to do makeup <laughs> what i really like about this one too, about all her um like eyeshadow palettes is that they have like a big mirror so you could literally just take one of these and that would be good i like the orange one because it has more like neutral shades so and it has like your, also your pops of color so that's also good but i think we're gonna start with i'm gonna start with a4 which is this one right here it's like a beautiful 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 brown so I'm gonna start me fix my little just wanna add some like you know since I know my my um my lid is going to get stained because pink stains I think I'm gonna do a halo eye i haven't done one i haven't done makeup in so long that i don't know what i want to do i'm definitely gonna oh i definitely love this color it's like a a brown with like a mauve like purple tones i don't know if it's good to see also my husband did buy me a new camera and i have not put it to use but I'm trying to, um, I think I was filming one video and it just looked terrible. So I'm trying to like have a whole new setup. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. Oh, I'm really liking this color. It just like caught me off guard with like the purple like the purple undertones but yeah so i'm hoping this video is not too long i should have just probably done my face and then just done my eyes i have little eye boogers that we do not like I have this like patchiness on my eye on this one, like a dry spot, and I cannot for the life of me to get rid of it. So if you guys have no anything to get rid of that, just, you know, leave a comment down below and let me know. Okay, so I think we're good. okay so now let me see i kind of want to do either b2 which is this one or hold on let me put this one in. so i kind of want to do either b2 which is this one or c5 because you know I think I'll do C5 and then pack on B2 on top. Yeah. So we're gonna do a halo eye. Um, oh, that's so pretty. That's definitely more more bright than what I thought it was gonna be, but it's so pretty. Like, did you guys see that? Oh, so bomb. But yeah.
I'm just gradually buffing this out. I don't want to touch this or I don't want to get too much product right there. I'm going to do like a subtle um, halo eye. So I don't want to do too much. Um, I think I'm very, I'm more excited about my new, like, makeup setup. I just want to buy a new makeup setup for my camera because the way my vanity is set up, it's, like, by the mirror. I'll show you guys after if I remember. But, um, it's just, like, a really awkward. And my camera just doesn't, um, like, fit, kind of. So I kind of want to buy like a smaller little table and just have that as my vanity and want to buy um, better lighting because right now the lighting that I use is from my, ooh, excuse me, from my mirror. So kind of want to buy like better lighting. I want to, I just want to, you know, I want to invest in myself that that's what I want to do. So next, I'm going to, I haven't even been saying like the brushes um, names either because it's just a get ready with me. Probably do like a more tutorial, like a little, a better tutorial video after. So now I'm using that B2 color. I'm just going to darken this a little bit. But yeah, um, That's what's going been going on with my life. Um, nothing too much, just you know. I, I think I'm just, I'm more, ex I'm just excited for this new, um, like this new makeup era that it's gonna, it's going to happen for. You. Maybe I should have done my freaking, um eyes first i didn't know it was gonna be this freaking much fallout i cannot talk but yeah i'm gonna now i'm going to get a clean brush and i'm just gonna clean like the edges no For the middle, should I do A5 or E3? Or maybe even A2? Hmm, I don't know. I think I'm going to do. Oh, oh no! My freaking A5 shadow just collapsed like literally collapsed i'm the definition of sad right now like what how does this happen it was so pretty day that i started trying to just, see it was not meant to be <laughs> But, since that one broke, I guess I might as well use that one. So, I'm gonna get A5, and it's just like pretty um, gold pink shade. Down in the middle. What do you guys want me to, what you guys want to see from me? I'll be more than happy to, 
you know, do it. I just want I just want feedback like as soon as I get my life together and I um do my new setup. I'm just, just really excited to be coming back. I know a bunch of my viewers, aka my friends, <laughs> um, have been wanting me to come back and just, you know, do makeup. And I'm so excited. So, shout out to all my friends who have been there for me and just have been true to my little, um, Sabbatical, I guess you could call it. Ugh. I don't like how this is. I feel like I, I just wanted to play with makeup, so this is not even like a, a good. Oh, this is. This is glitter glitter. We'll put this. Put this on these little eye boogers. Put this on the end corner. Maybe even on some of the lid. I just feel like it's so This is the glitter that I wanted. Oh yeah. That that is it. This is it. Okay. Well, that is it for the eyes. If you like, I just blend a little bit more. My husband has really been pushing me too to start like making YouTube videos again, so I'm really excited to tell him that I did start again. You see, my husband is probably one of my biggest supporters, along with like my best friends. But yeah, like my husband's the one who has been seeing me literally at my worst, so it's great to have that type of support i'm really hoping this video is not too long um i'm gonna have to cut it a lot but i'm just gonna put on some lashes and then i'll be right back okay so i am back i put my eyelashes on i finished my lips and now all i got left is just to put some setting spray And yeah, so this is the finished look. Mm, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, like I said, let me know if you guys want me to do any specific videos. Um, I am trying to, I'm going to try to start filming more with my husband and my son. So it just won't be, you know, makeup content. It's going to be vlogs just you know basic mommy vlogs just a bunch of stuff i have in mind um yeah so uh just let me know i am more than happy to do it for you guys and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching i don't know what the fuck is wrong with this eyelash but thank you guys so much for watching and you know if you guys like what you guys see don't forget to like comment and subscribe also um yeah just let me know anything you guys want um but yeah <laughs> anyways thank you guys bye